Hi folks, this is a very short demonstration of the um, Torque integration with my AN21U unit Android based uh, on the Opel Insignia or Vauxhall Insignia or Big Regal. So uh, as you can see I have already turned on the unit and um, I will just show you the um, adapter that I have. It's a Wi-Fi based adapter here in my ODB socket and uh, I have already turned it on as you can see and also as you can see over here in the top it has already connected to the adapter just to show you I go into the settings menu here we have the Wi-Fi pressing this will show you that the Wi-Fi OBD2 has already connected so this uh, this looks quite good and um, all we need to do now is uh, to turn on um, Torque. So what you can see here on my home screen is that I have installed the widget um, that is able to integrate with the Torque application and display selected, um, selected meters or checks directly on your home screen and with the um, widget comes a toggle switch to turn it on and off. I will press it on now so uh, you can see up here it uh, starts uh, uh, yeah it's a bit unclear but it starts to connect to uh, to the device oh yeah and it comes with an uh, audiovisual notification that it's really cold outside as you can see here it already gives you some information I have uh, now selected only for uh, air temperature and the coolant temperature and the consumption. However, the the consumption liters per hundred kilometers it's it's really it's really not way off somehow. I don't know why. Um, so I think I will change that again. And just to show you, I have also some uh, others over here just uh, for for demonstration the purposes some kind of a boost, turbo boost, whatever it is, uh, but somehow it's in the pressure is negative here, so there must be some under pressure, but that doesn't make any sense. I've also included this uh, speed and the um, the uh, RPMs, um, but the RPMs it's it's rather slow. So as you can see, if I play with the with the um, the speeder, it it really is very slow to react. I don't know why anyway but for for my purposes uh, it's actually quite fine so uh, so this this looks actually quite nice so let's stop this one again and we can uh, we can actually start torque as you can see i have implemented a different theme it's a glass theme it looks really nice so let's start torque and see what happens so right now it's uh, connecting again to uh, to the adapter. Good. Caution, icy conditions. Yeah, we already know that. And uh, just to demonstrate again, if I play with the speeder, then um, it's it's not really fast in updating. It goes up, of course. I don't know if if I can manage to zoom out somehow here. Uh, uh. No, not working. Okay, anyway, and um, I have not really played with the uh, Torque application itself yet, so here's the real-time information. It shows you quite a lot of things, yeah, turning them around. And also here you can see that uh, the glass theme has been applied, so it, it really looks much, much better than, um, than usual or than the standard ones. shows you this the throttle percentage the vacuum that's actually quite interesting the vacuum that's uh, probably the one that I've already shown you in uh, the beginning it's somehow it miss it's missing a dial don't know what um, and f with the app it, sh it gives you some some other nice thingies here if you want to do that also the emission readiness test that's actually quite interesting to see that coming up 
Oh, that's nothing. Uh, again. Yeah, and that's about it. Um, my my objective or my wish was actually to somehow display the uh, oil temperature or the oil pressure. Actually, uh, I know that there is an app or some yeah some device that you can buy that gives you the oil pressure and the oil temperature somehow. Um, but uh, for now, I haven't found this this yet in in at least in the in the widget. But um, I think this concludes my very very brief uh, walkthrough of how this integrates. And uh, you can of course quit the app again. So now it's done, and we're all back. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.